Hi, inventors. I'm Lily, the twirling tech goddess. I'm black, I dance, I'm queer, and I'm an engineer. Welcome to The Twerk Shop, a show that explicitly encourages radical diversity and inclusion by making the process of learning tech more fun, accessible, and relatable to people underrepresented in STEM. Each week, you'll come along with me as I create something fabulous using cutting edge tools and technologies. Then I'll put it through my patented twirl test to make sure that it's stage ready. That's right, we twirl with our tech because you know what they say, the family that slays together increases their socioeconomic status together. Make sure you go over and subscribe to my Patreon at patreon.com slash twirlingtechgoddess and help keep this programming alive. On this episode, we're coming to you live from Building 61 Boulder Library Makerspace. And today we are going to be building a tool that's similar to last week's technology has been around for over two millennia. This episode's tool is sought after by so many sexy nerd subgroups. That's right, folks. Today, we're building a grappling hook. We'll talk about the attraction to the tool idolized by comic book stands, superhero movie buffs, tactical enthusiasts, gamers, cosplayers, makers, self-identifying private investigators, ninja wannabes, and content creators all over the world. Just look on YouTube and every white guy with a dream has built a grappling hook. And they're all very cool, but in the spirit of balance, I thought I'd show you how a sister might do it. <laughs> We're gonna break down the mechanism using a tutorial I found on YouTube, and then we'll scale it up to make our own version that can be mounted on your forearm, inspired by one of my favorite video games growing up, Mortal Kombat. Yes! We're gonna be building a grappling hook inspired by Scorpion's special move. Get over here! But first, a little backstory. According to Wikipedia, who we stand, a grappling hook or grapnel is a device invented by the Romans in approximately 260 BC and was originally used in naval warfare to latch onto a ship's rigging so that it could be boarded. <laughs> they typically have multiple hooks known as claws or flukes and are usually attached to a rope to be thrown, dropped, sunk, projected, or fastened directly by hand to where at least one hook may catch a hold. Generally speaking, grappling hooks are used to temporarily secure one end of a rope. They may also be used to dredge for submerged objects. Dredge. Most grappling hooks are thrown by hand. <laughs> but some used in rescue work are propelled by compressed air. We have a video about air compressors as well that you should check out if you wanna dive deeper into that. They can also be propelled by a rocket. There are rifle launched grappling hooks or crossbow launched grappling hooks. With that in mind, we might as well just consider this part one of a series of projectile videos because I low key wanna try all of those. Grappling hooks, grappling guns, and their many variants have been a staple in many video games since around the late 1980s. One of the earliest appearances in gaming is in the 1987 arcade game Bionic Commando. More recently, they are a feature in The Dying Light, Uncharted, Far Cry 4, and Just Cause video game series. Even Link from the Legend of Zelda series famously utilizes a grappling hook called a hookshot. But for me, the most iconic modernized mutation of the grappling hook has to be Scorpions. Is it a grappling hook even? She throws it and it brings that ass back. Get over here. Whew. Sounds like a grappling hook to me. <laughs> For the initial concept, I found this super easy tutorial on YouTube by the King of Random, which uses more of the slingshot method. I found this to be the most accessible grapnel build. Shout out to the kings and queens of Random, who've been actively taking steps toward equitable learning experiences by diversifying their team. Hashtag visibility, hashtag accessibility, we stand. Essentially with this build, there's a clip mechanism holding an elastic rubber tubing or rubber band. You apply tension on it, and when the mechanism is released, it can shoot whatever projectile is in front of it. They suggest that we use markers to hold the string or dental floss, which is mounted along with the slingshot onto a base. 
The base is made of some really sturdy material like PVC or pencils taped together, but we'll be using this paint stick and later mounting it onto this heat moldable ABS plastic, which when heated will mold around the shape of my arm. Then once it cools and hardens, it should give me a really snug fit on my forearm. Check out our video here where we dive deeper into the different types of heat moldable plastics available. Today, however, I might just use Velcro to strap it onto my naked arm, just to see if that would be sturdy enough before mounting it permanently. Hashtag iterations. <laughs> we'll reinforce everything to the base using these zip ties, maybe even some hot glue and also tape too. Why not? For the projectile, they use a pin with paper clips on the tip. We've adapted our version a bit because their designs are meant to be used as a handheld device. And our version for Scorpion will be wearable. But overall, it'll be the same concept. To turn this pile of mostly household items into a grappling hook, we're gonna need the essentials. Get over here! Hot glue gun and glue stick, electrical tape, Velcro, and the soldering iron. To assemble it, my strategy is gonna be to mount the clip, cut the marker to hold the rubber band and the string. I think it's a brilliant idea to use the cap and marker to make the string holder removable for ease of rewinding the string later. I'm gonna modify this though and cut the marker at a 45 degree angle, making an elbow <laughs> for the string. Then once the entire piece is assembled, I'll use the Velcro straps to fasten it around my forearm. This can also get upgraded in post-production to leather straps with adjustable belt loop features. We'll just let the spirit move. Now get over here and let's get started. I don't know about y'all, but I feel like this grappling hook episode has allowed me to pull my hopes and dreams just that much closer. Get over here, goals. Get over here, hopes and dreams. I encourage you to do the same and tag me in your pics and vids if you end up recreating this build. And even if you replicate it exactly, just keep in the back of your mind the idea that exercising your creativity is like fitness training for innovators. A wearable isn't useful to me unless it can withstand a brawl in the underworld. So I'm gonna go get dressed and I'll see you on the battlefield.
get over here. Get it, get, get it, get, get, get. Get over here. Get over here. Over here. <laughs> like that. Get over here. Get it, get, get it, get, get, get. Get over here. Oh. 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 Get over here. <laughs> like that. Over here. <laughs> get it, get, get it, get, get, get. Get over here. Get over here. You like and share and subscribe if you feel like it. And if you're gonna go through all that trouble, you might as well hit the post notification bell. And also consider subscribing to my Patreon. No, just do. Do subscribe to my Patreon for exclusive content and an opportunity to curate future episodes. Just go to patreon.com slash twirlingtechgoddess. Link is also in the description. And remember this old Japanese saying, live scorpion in pants make life interesting. This program was made possible with the generous financial support of the Boulder Library Foundation. To learn more and find out how you can get involved and help fund future library programs, visit boulderlibraryfoundation.org today.